The Favorite. I'd heard a lot of good things about this film. It wasn't applying around in my location, so in our Nashville uh, thing we do every year, I got a chance to check it out. It stars Emma Stone and um, Rachel Weisz and also Olivia Coleman. And uh, it's a very interesting film. It takes place in the 18th century England. Um, there's a queen, Queen Anne. She's uh, a little bit frail, has some mental instabilities. And um, Rachel always plays kind of her uh, advisor and caretaker. And pr pretty much she's running the show. Um, and uh, Emma Stone's character rolls up and the queen kind of starts to favor her a little bit. And then you have this battle between her and Rachel Weisz to try and win uh, favoritism from the Queen. Um, it's it, very funny at times. It's very weird at times. Um, Emma Stone gives a great performance and so does Rachel Weisz. They were both fantastic in the film. Um, and it's just a very weird, awkward movie. Um, so know that going in. I guess when you see the trailer, you could kind of figure it out, but uh, this is the director of this, um, Yorgos Lanthimos or something, how you say his name. He's done a lot of weird movies like The Lobster and stuff and movies I've never seen before. And I heard this was a more palatable, uh, more digestible film than those other films. So I'm glad that this is the one I decided to go see. Um, I will say that it was a little too weird for me. I, I don't know if I quite 100% understood the ending. And um, I don't know if this is something that I'm going to want to go back and watch again. Um, but I enjoyed it for the performances and the few laughs that were in there. Um, and it was okay for a one-time watch, but it didn't blow me away or anything. Um, Emma Stone was fantastic in the film. I did really like her. She'll probably get some nominations. Rachel Weisz probably will too. I, heck, maybe even the Queen because she was pretty good too. Um, but overall, I can understand why this wasn't playing in my area and why it was only in one theater in Nashville. Um, but it was it was okay. I'm going to give the favorite a three and a half out of five. If these kind of films are your cup of tea, then you're probably going to really enjoy it. But uh, for me, it was just okay. Until next time, this is Rainy Cage. Peace out.